All right, here we are, Math 2, Unit 6, Worksheet Number 3, looking at proportions and triangles and finding missing links. All right, so let's set them up this way. Here we go. We're going to start this one off by saying that I have 10 on the short side, right, over 4 on this extra part here. And we're going to make that equal to the 15 on this side over the I don't know part on that side. We can call that X if we chose to. We can reduce first if it helps make it a little bit easier. 2 goes in here 5 times and 2 goes in here 2 times and then we cross multiply and we have 30 equals 5x divide both sides by 5 and so that x equals 6 okay and that's our first answer for number 1 looking down at number 3 all right I have a short side 15 and a question mark a 2 and I have a total length here of 12 that means that this length here is what's the difference 12 minus 2 is 10 that length is going to be 10 so I can do the long length over the little bit and make that equal to the long length here over the I don't know there. Again, two goes in here one time, two goes in here five times, so I can reduce. And so 15 is gonna equal five X, divide both sides by five, 15 divided by five is three, and so X equals three for number three. Looking at number five. This is an interesting one because I could set it up as a, a ratio thing again, no problem. I could do 16 over 8 and make it equal to 28 over and I don't know, right? That works out no problem. And if I do that, I can reduce 8 goes in here one time, 8 goes in here two times. So no problem, I have 2x equals 1 times 8 is 28, divide both sides by 2, and so x equals 14. Sometimes you can also look at his patterns and say 16 to 8 is cutting it in half, so what's half of 28? It's 14, which is what we did anyways. All right, looking at number seven. For number seven, we have these angles are supposed to be the same, so we have uh, the angle measurements are the same there, great. Um, and so what we're gonna say is that that side, 15, goes to the 30, which is the same as the 21 going to the I don't know. Again, this reduces to 1 over 2, and so when I cross multiply, I end up with x equals 2 times 21, which is 42, and that's all there is to that one. Okay, looking over to the back side, number 9. So number 9, we have similar angles here, and we have a 20 and a 28, and we have 7, and I don't know what that is, right? So we don't know the whole thing, but we need to find out that one first of all. Okay, and that's gonna get added to the seven. So there's a couple steps here. This becomes an X and this becomes seven plus X to find out the question mark. So don't get too quick with your work. So if we said 20 is to X as 28 is to seven, I could reduce 28 over seven. Seven goes in here four times, cross multiply to have four X equals 20 and X then equals five. So if this is five, I put that in there, there, the question is what's the whole length? That's gonna be seven plus five, which is 12. So don't skip that extra step right there when you're doing your work, be careful. Number 11, we could say that six here goes to the four, six to four, and then we can say it goes 12 minus x goes to x plus three. We can reduce this to three over two, and then we can cross multiply. We get three times x plus three equals two times 12 minus x. So we end up with three x plus nine equals 24 minus two x. We're going to add two x to both sides to end up with a five x. We're gonna subtract nine, subtract nine. So five x is gonna equal in our case here, um, 24 minus nine is a 15. Divide both sides by five and x equals three for number 11. And finally, number 13, our last one that we're going to do together today, we have our little bit over our longer bit equals our little bit x plus 4 over our longer bit 4x plus 1. Can we reduce this? Sure can. 2 goes in here 4 times and 2 goes in here 5 times. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, let's do this. 4 goes in here 2 times and 4 goes in there 5 times. Let's do 2 fifths. We cross multiply and we have 2 times 4x plus 1 equals 5 times x plus 4. We cross multiply here and have 8x plus 2 equals 5x plus 20. We do our distributed property. 
subtract a 5x, subtract a 5x, we're left with 3x over here, subtract a 2, subtract a 2, we're left with 18 over there, divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to 18 divided by 3, which is 6. All right, that's it for today. Hope that helps you out, and we'll see you next time.